Welcome everyone. Today's video is a guide on how to get airdrops on scroll. So we'll be taking a look at five tokenless protocols that are live on scroll right now, how to use them in hopes for an airdrop in the future. And this should put us in a position to get an airdrop from scroll itself. So if you're not familiar with scroll, Scroll is another layer to ZK EVM. So it's another rollup that you can potentially use. And they're bringing EVM compatibility to ZK rollups, which effectively just allows developers to copy and paste their protocols from like Ethereum, Arbitrum or Optimism directly to Scroll without having to tinker with it too much, which means that it's just easier for new dApps to come over to Scroll. So if you want to get started with Scroll, we're going to head over to Orbiter Finance and bridge some funds over. I'm going to be bridging some funds over from Arbitrum. So you'll need to connect your wallet first and then where it says from underneath that, I'm gonna click Arbitrum. And then where it says to underneath that, I'm gonna click down here where it says scroll. Type in the amount that you wanna bridge over and then just press send and then confirm and send. And then once you do that, you'll be prompted to sign a transaction. And then it should take a couple of minutes for your funds to arrive over at scroll. Now, while that's happening, we can add scroll to our MetaMask. So head over to chainless.org where it says search networks, type in scroll. And then once you've done that, click here where it says add to MetaMask. A MetaMask notification will pop up, just press approve. And then once you've done all of that, your screen should look something like this. Okay, so now we're set up on scroll. Let's take a look at some dApps that we can start trying for a potential airdrop. So the first one I'm taking a look at is SyncSwap. So SyncSwap is a DEX. If you're familiar with any other DEX, you should be familiar with how SyncSwap works. So you can trade here as well as provide liquidity. Uh, so I'm just gonna trade 0.1 ETH into USDC here. In terms of different tokens that you have, there isn't a lot of choice. So I'll just be doing this. We just have to press swap. I'm going to sign this transaction in my wallet, press confirm. And there we go. I've swapped the ETH into USDC. Now you can provide liquidity in the pools that they have here, but the yield is so low. So I don't think it's really worth it. Still qualify for the airdrop if you just do trades on SyncSwap as it is. Although you'll probably get an increased airdrop amount if you are providing liquidity. The next protocol I wanted to take a look at is Zebra. So again, it's another DEX and I'll be showing you how to use this here. So, but I'm just gonna trade 0 0.1 ETH into USDC. Go, press swap, confirm swap. And I'll just sign this transaction in my wallet. It cost me 34 cents. And there we go, the transaction is complete and you can see that my USDC balance has increased. So again, you can go over to Zebra and actually provide liquidity in their pools, but I don't think it's particularly worth it given the fact that the yields are quite low. The next protocol I wanted to take a look at is Satori Finance. So I've covered this on my channel before, but I'll cover it again here. So Satori Finance is a perpetual futures DEX that is live on a number of different layer twos. So you can use Satori Finance on like the Polygon ZK EVM, ZK Sync, Linear, Base, and obviously Scroll. So when you navigate to this website, you just want to click Launch App and then click Scroll. And this will take you to the main website where you can actually start trading on Satori Finance. So I'm going to connect my wallet here to sign a signature here. There we go. And now I'm in. So now that I've connected my wallet to Satori Finance, I have to deposit some funds. So if I head over to portfolio, press deposit, and I'll just deposit 200 USDC here, press confirm, and then I'll have to sign another transaction. And there we go. We can see up here where it says assets, I have $200 in my Satori Finance account. So let's go about trading on Satori Finance. So Satori Finance is obviously a perpetual futures DEX and it should work similarly to any other perpetual futures DEX that you've ever used. So. I'm going to be trading on the ETH market here. You have a choice between ETH and Bitcoin perpetual futures that you can trade. Uh, I'll go into market. I'm going to switch this over to USD and I'll just go long $200 worth of the ETH perpetual futures. So this is my expected price, my expected liquidation price. And I'll just press place market order here. And there we go. It's my entry price, the size my PL. And if I just wanted to close this, I can press here where it says close. Let's just do the max size. And then I'll have to sign another transaction. So obviously, you know, the more that you trade on Satori Finance, the more that you're active on this platform, the larger your potential airdrop in the future might actually be. 
Now, the next protocol I wanted to take a look at is Ambient Finance. So Ambient Finance, again, is another DEX. So very similar to what we had with SyncSwap and Zebra. So what you need to do to get started with Ambient Finance is press here where it says connect your wallet. And then just make sure that this is on scroll as you have the option to use Ambient Finance on both Ethereum and Kanto. You can do trades here on the swap tab or the trading tab. I'm going to do it on the trading tab just because it looks different. I'm going to be swapping back some of my USDC into ETH. So let me just do this. Press submit swap. And then just confirm this in my wallet. Now you can provide liquidity in ambient finance, but it's like I said before with Zebra or SyncSwap, it's probably not worth your time. Now the last protocol I wanted to take a look at today is Cog Finance. So it's going to work similarly to like Aave, Compound, MarginFi, that sort of thing. So they mostly just use wrapped ETH here in Cog Finance. So they have a tab here that allows you to wrap some ETH pretty easily. So I'm just going to wrap 0.01 ETH. We'll press the wrap here. And we'll just confirm this transaction. <laughs> okay. In order to potentially qualify for a COG Finance airdrop, we're going to head over here to this wrapped ETH USDC pool. We're going to press earn and we're just going to deposit this wrapped ETH into this pool. Let's just do that. We'll press approve. And then just Going to approve this spending cap request for my wrapped ETH. And then once that's done, I'll be able to deposit into Cog Finance. I press deposit and then confirm. So that was it for this video. Just a quick one. How to get started with Scroll, bridging over, adding it to MetaMask, as well as trying some different tokenless protocols that are currently live. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one.